Hi, and welcome to another video for our jokes application. In this video, we're going to add a login form so we can take advantage of the users table. So let me switch tabs here in my browser to see what the app will look like. So you can see here what we're going to do. We're going to click a button that says click here to log in. We'll be presented with a login form. We'll provide a username and password and click log in. And now, when, once we're logged in, we will, we will run through this uh, script here called process login, which will set some variables called a session variable. It will hold my username and the user ID in the browser's memory for the duration of my session. Now when I click to return to the main page, you can see that it has a welcome message for me. And now if I try to add a joke, let's say if I add a joke called 123 and the answer is ABC, you will see that at the bottom, it says that the joke was submitted by user number one. And so that's where we're going. We're going to add users and the login process to the application. Well, here's the condition of the application right now. There is no login. It's anyone can add and search for jokes. All right, so I'm bringing up here uh, Visual Studio Code. I think in previous videos I was using uh, Notepad++. This is just an updated version of the same thing. It's a text editor. So let's see what's in here. So I have a index page, and this should look a lot like what you had programmed in previous videos. So I'm going to borrow some of this information and make a login form. So let's just take all of the code and copy it. So select all, copy, and I'm going to make a new file, and I'm going to call it uh, login underscore form dot php, and then paste it. So this will be the starting point for my application login. Let's call it uh, login for jokes page or for jokes app. Okay, so we're going to include the database. We're not going to search all jokes. Uh, okay, so here we're gonna put some new stuff. So we'll put in messages like please log in. And let's see, here's the form. And we are not going to have two forms. So down here at the HR, which is the horizontal rule, I'm going to start selecting and take all of this out. I'm going to press the delete key. Okay, so now I have a form that will just have one input. So let's save this and take a look and see what the results are. So I'm going to come up here and type in directly in my URL is login underscore form dot PHP. There we go. So this is not going to be search for chicken, but I want to have two inputs, one for username, one for password, and then a submit button. So I'm going to modify what I have here and turn it into a login form. Okay, so let's go back into the code and you can see that this form group appears to be the part where it asks for the username. So I'll copy that and paste two of them. Save it and let's double check to see what this page looks like now. Okay, so now I have two input forms and a bunch of labels around them. Now I just have to change the text so that it says username and password. All right, that shouldn't be too hard. Let's go into the labels. So we have for keyword, we're gonna call this not for keyword anymore, but for username. And the label will now say username. All right, the next one is the input ID. It's called keyword now, let's call it username. Type, it's a search type, I'm just gonna change it to text. The key name, or this thing is called username. The placeholder, instead of chicken, I'm gonna say um, your name. And let's put a space in there. What else do we have? Nothing else that looks like it's related. Let's go down to the key uh, word hint at the bottom. Uh, I'm gonna say enter your username. All right, let's do the same thing for the password. So now instead of search input, we're gonna call this thing password. Go through and rename everything to password instead of key word. The type is a password, so that will actually put little dots on the uh, input form and hide the text so it's more secure. Okay, so down at the bottom, the last, instead of a search button, I'm going to put it in as submit. 
or maybe login. All right, let's save the work and let's see what it looks like now. There we go, so I have a login form. It looks the same as far as the size of the fields and everything, but the labels have been changed. One more item we have to change. The action here is going to be set to, instead of search, we're gonna call this thing process login. And right now I'm going to add the word unsecure after it because I know that I'm going to do this the wrong way first. It's going to be insecure and then later we'll change the login processor so that it will be more secure. All right, let's save the work here. I'm going to refresh this and click login. And the next part is what we're going to do in the next video. It says here, I can't get to process login unsecure. It doesn't exist. And so we'll do that in just a minute.